Sobolen ngolai ngurani le Sidai TV engolongon tarikini tikira mokuni olapa lio kuni ani nyojor masa olapa lio nyo ngok telari lo ngalifnero tikira muari oldibrede le jumatano ne mbolo sewiki na kunangor rokyo lo monte Sidai TV kaji Samson ole simpiri ore tolo mo legi jengiro shi tano long ne limu lo morin chere eto na kan sabo ge rumoro na ta genol tonga na gene bongo sentim ne so lakela ramatak Iyolo ya jore masa na gedi na bonga jiji na ro bige era marida ngwesi ne bodare era marisho senenje tongwa pi kumoko leng kagore ti ato re keren ket le transmara tolo ndolo ne gran ngonyo ngonyo lenge jeto me gran ya suja sheria anena na rikino eto ro ro le serikali ra shigera madare ongwesi entima KWS na Kenya Wildlife Service ejiro mesuje de sebara ka to kolamo ge ti angata na ta nyama le ngwesi entimo lorere te na kop ne mesuje ni ala grobi ene shi na ala gana ke rote ne ge ta nyama la ngwesi lorere ana ne nyar kole ka me tuata na ga de robi ene na ji ge rinyo ge serikali ro mari ta le nye ane ngwe to yengle jela jata Ori tadi dia lihat kalau kau lagi guna nilai kerana ini lihat ruang yang lalu bocang gua bertransmara. Oh jangan karena oleh nangis dah lalu guna nilai kerana ini. Nanti juga mak gua katukul dan aku kena nyokap kita nincar paraku. Aja muda boleh dari ngusi tuar. Kau orang kata pokoknya nanti nincar bah. Nita nyamal lelo obisani le KWS. Nira game muda Eropia ni nana di kono ni laki ni ana compensation. Wazizi. wakaifukuza kondoo nje zoke so, walikuwa wanakulia kila kondoo kila mahali pake unua kondoo moja unaleta hapa inakuliwa ni uchungu zaidi juu umejinyima tasa mingi ama umejinyima mambo mingi usiyafanya kuna moja ambayo mbuzi nane wamekuliwa kuna mwingine mbuzi tatu wamekuliwa only last month kwa hivyo ni kama sasa hii hawa nyama twi ni kama it is their time wameanza ni wakati wao sasa wakuja kutufamia lions are under severe threat we only have 2100 remaining in the country and we would like to conserve this we normally pay like if a goat is killed we normally pay about 2500 kenya shillings and if a cow is killed we pay 15000 kenya shillings Ikibadu bore sukulu ni na harare iti sukule primary kisher morwa tenebo o sukule secondary kisher morwa project yankare na rabolu tuan kampuni nabo na itashiki siya yankare tia turmani ele Rift Valley yolo tiana Central Rift Valley Water Works Development Agency tena lubotongo. Ya tasishore ilo turur ilo piena ba milion nyongwan itopi u project yankare hapana rangasai rashe dola nino otulu suwiti kagere jogi ori na harana kagere 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 secondary tenebo no sukule ni primary ori kilikuwa ina ilo itarede ye elon na ngowa na nabonga di kogelo turu yolo tena Central Rift Valley Water Development Agency Water Works Development Agency Elimulo mwani nchere iloro tangata doko ya isul tona ipeta mbe siyasa ento mononi ya pakiti ora isapale doko ya lengo pe Kenya mze jomo Kenyata na jengarna mamangina Kenyata Ure gray roto rgele ngedele muranga edigyo siruwaliano karo renda sadi yolote na nili wanchiku na ninyengo tonye Bishop Ernest Karancha la ulesu wata nebo leo mari le Kenyata neto limu mamangina Kenyata ajoke sepeta na jeto oraisu huru mwigai Kenyata pejo keyu na agibu ya suja oladiko nile ODM rela odinga tengara gimba esiasa Ito limo mama ngine legi liwe itangata doko ya iso le ito ya kata en ya siyasa tola lino tulu soite kake tadede yenge ta shedo nya juki yu na kini ngulto nga nalulu nyo keria maun kenya region ladiko nile ODM anani nyora isu huru kenyata peyotu mokini hata ngoro ladiko nile ODM raila molo dinga otia nchula na jene azmiyo la umoja na urikia wama nisa bukin le na shula na urikia wama le ODM tene borikia wama le jubilee ati Kulinda na noria moja wale reto wa kemozi, ona juu magana gudi imepa break, dangi hata kurumana, diki wiyari asiuma alumana, toko matigoro huo, angi koro irumisi ya mara ni ora sima maru tiro mage kura, diki moere, idwe togari ya kwenda na, wodi ni mbito. Na tutuwa livye maodo mavoro yuna ambere Na mubenye na kulea mgoro lete Na mutongolia wanyutange hota kumwe mbia Kulea jira ere thangere ide Demo ere Mugye na ambere Kumenya ate Mutegeti na hale oi modo ika ide Lewe oi kile thambo ide yaga Na Dare na oru Noni ige Okay, can you all run your money? You are cool. 
wagetidane na ake gide tuthie na mbere ndeke mwere kore aro amuonia murore kuo anda musoke ya ngano muno niondo waguka kumagaria maikasi nete jolote lorais william samoy ruto eke shakino katokolo na kasujare orgeredi ulelo kio male yudie hamu indi bagi bali la gashako wagenita mwetu ina narikino edo limu ajoro la gashan lori la governor na apatitu gole tutu ora la kashani lolorika lembuge yonto mona da county naro na rebecca enole tonge itelo kyo male yudie ora sinyo lolorika lembuge tolo ntolo le county naro gabriel le tongoyo nisho gente kiti elo kyoma ora sinyo yete na shoni da de ye patri ko lentutu engeta shoro nyene jeto gela isiligie lungana le ngop naro ajugela sakemba e maintelewe ne gele gelo ga mero governor le na county kabla sijasema chochote Wacha ni mpongeze ndugu yangu Patrick Keturet Ole Mtutu Kwa nafasi amefatiwa na watu wa county hii hasa wanachama wa UDA apeperushe bendera ya UDA na Kenya kwanza katika mambo ya uchaguzi wa governor mwaka huu tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane my brother patrick nataka nikwambie pongezi na tunakutakia heri na baraka ya mungu ili upate nafasi ya kuwafanyia hawa watu wa narok kazi ambayo tutakusaidia na tutashirikiana pamoja na wewe tunaelewana jameni mimi nataka nichukue nafasi hii ni watambue viongozi wengine sawa nimeona hii iko sawa kabisa weka tu chini hapo iko sawa iko tonjo sana hiyo kitu sawa nataka nichukue nafasi hii ni washukuru viongozi wa narok hasa wale ambao walikuwa wanashindana na ndugu yetu Patrick Olentutu Nyinyi mnajua kama watu wa Narok wengi wenu mulitushawishi viongozi wengi walitupigia simu wengine wakaandika SMS wengine wakaandika WhatsApp wengine wakatupigia simu kusema ya kwamba sio vizuri watu wa Narok wagawanyike kwa mashindano ya gavana ni kweli ama si kweli na kwa kusikia mwito wenu viongozi waliokuwa wanashindana mheshimiwa Korei mheshimiwa Soipan mheshimiwa Tongo na mheshimiwa Patrick Lemtutu tukaketi chini na wao na wao wakasema watu wa Narok wametuambia Narok iko na matatizo mengi tusiongeze matatizo ya kugawana ni kweli ama si kweli jamani watu wa Narok si ni kweli na ndio sababu hiyo wakaketi chini sio kwa lazima waliketi chini kwa hiari na wakaamua wenyewe ya kwamba ni vizuri tuongee ni vizuri tutafute umoja ni vizuri tutafute vile tutaungana ndio tuweze kupata ushindi katika kaunti yetu ya Narok mimi nachukua nafasi hii kwa niaba ya watu wengi wa Narok kwa niaba ya familia ya UDA na kwa niaba ya familia ya Kenya kwanza kuwaambia mheshimiwa Soipan, mheshimiwa Tongoyo na mheshimiwa Korei asanteni sana kwa uongozi wenu na kukubali kumuunga ndugu yetu mheshimiwa Patrick Mtutu ili awe candidate wetu wa Narok County katika uchaguzi ambao ni wa August tarehe tisa mwaka huu jameni watu wa Narok ndugu zangu watu wa Narok mimi nawaomba kwa unenekevu jameni tuwapigie makofi hawa viongozi watatu Wape nuru ya mama Soipan tu ya jameni hii. Wape nuru ya ndugu yetu Korei Olemein. Wape nuru ya ndugu yetu Gabriel Tongoyo. Hawa viongozi.
wanastahili heshima kwa sababu wao wamejitolea wakawacha nafasi hiyo iwe ni ya ndugu yetu Patrick tuko pamoja jameni tuko pamoja ndugu yetu mheshimiwa Lemein Korei akasema atarudi kutetea kiti yake ya Narok South Tunaelewana Jameni mtamuunga mkono Hebu nione wala asema tutamuunga mkono Mama yetu Mama Soipan akasema yeye ndiye atakuwa kampeina wetu sisi wote atatufanyia kampeni ya MCA atatufanyia kampeni ya Women Rep atatufanyia kampeni ya seneta na governor na urais katika kaunti mzima ya Naro Wapi nduru ya mama Soipan Jameni Mimi namshukuru sana huyu mama kwa sababu alisema wacha ni wache nafasi kwa sababu kiti yake ni ile affirmative action akasema wacha awachie nafasi mama mwingine aweze kuchaguliwa katika kaunti hii yetu ya Naro Ndugu yetu Gabriel Wole Tongoyo Mungwana Mtu shujaa ambaye alikuwa kinyang'aniro na ndugu yetu Patrick na mnajua huyu Gabriel alikuwa na nafasi nzuri sana si kweli lakini kwa heshima na kwa sababu ameweka ubinafsi kando akasema heri ni ungane na ni muunge mkono ndugu yetu Patrick Olentutu na pia akakubali arudi atetee kiti yake ya Narok West ili asaidie Patrick anisaidie mimi asaidie wale wengine wote ambao tunatafuta viti katika uchaguzi unaofuata ndugu yetu Gabriel Tongoyo wapi nduru ya Gabriel Tongoyo jameni Tumekubaliana Tumekubaliana Jameni mtamuunga mkono huyu Gabriel Tongoyo Hebu nione kura ya Gabriel Tongoyo nione kura ya Gabriel Tongoyo hapa Si huyu mungwana amekuwa mungwana jameni Hiyo ungwana yake mtamulipa na ungwana Mtamulipa na ungwana Na ndio tumesema tafadhali na waomba watu wa Narok tuvumiliane na waomba kabisa kwa unyenyekevu tuvumiliane ili tuweze kupata ushindi nyingi mnajua wale tunashindana na wao wako na njama ya kugawanya Narok hii kwa misingi ya kabila na sisi tunasema neno la Mungu linatuambia katika matayo tano tisa kwamba heri wapatanishi wale wanapatanisha watu kama vile viongozi hawa wamefanya mimi nawauliza watu wa Narok msikubali tugawanyike msikubali tuwekwe katika mirengo ya kabila hii na kabila ile tunataka tuungane kama watu wa Narok ili tuweze kukabiliana na changamoto za Narok hii tuungane ili tuweze kupanga mambo ya maendeleo ya Narok mambo ya kilimo ya Narok mambo ya miindo msingi ya Narok mambo ya maji ya Narok hii na mambo ya kutafutia ajira watoto wetu hapa Narok County watu wa Narok jameni mtakubali tuungane mtakataa ukabila tutakataa wale Tinikibu kulio mwono yungu wa tijalo lupolo sinili mwono mwono nchere Eta laiti ulo shole South Africa iriko raiso jangarna siril ramafosa Eldungana meta nasishana apake Itijuni ya tolonke na katukule siya yengi rasuro Ormeta ili ya coronavirus Ana ni nyadhari mwukengu mwono yolo dede te lo show 
eponu kula monde rishana iba lunye nche olturiya kile nye enjoto olunga na kile na kope South Africa ejoto engenga siya sabu golenga muara ba tolo la dino tolo ashu tolo ba tolo tolo switi na elo shaba la South Africa ori kero de siya yoro meta ila corona hagi tolo na jo erasio kuyo olunga iwa ngagi nyelo na kilo keta tena dole na jo mekure na rikino na sijenche ria nengi shopo tolo ngi tambani ana masks tena boni nyenge denga na ejoto yapa kemi ejoto tongo longe na tolo switi ora ngai ba nengi shopo leng na nchere Iyolo ya jure dengi rore na rasa ulturu oipeta biyoti shi dengi kwanza longa WHO a World Health Organization na wale lo shule South Africa na agizi lo shono riki tatu kilaro e dengi tatu lo sabo gesa yet na jene HIV and AIDS ngo rapa imported pe ili upo leng Asia yoro mecha ili coronavirus na agile laga beta sio yoltonga na kuleng ni sula ki law tena moyan ana law ta kuleng moyari tin na agile beta sese ni amugi tapa beta ni sika ni lo sese ni white blood cells. Earlier today, we held a meeting of the Presidential Coordinating Council, which brings together our premiers, our mayors of all metros, ministers, deputy ministers, and representatives of SALGA, the South African Local Government Association, as well as our traditional leaders. Based on those consultations, and the recommendations of the National Coronavirus Command Council, Cabinet has decided to ease several restrictions as part of Adjusted Level 1. The restrictions on gatherings are being significantly changed. In previous regulations, the emphasis was on placing an upper limit on the number of people who could attend a gathering. The approach now going forward is that both indoor and outdoor venues can now take up to 50% of their capacity, provided that the criteria for entrance at those venues is proof of vaccination or a COVID test not older than 72 hours. But where there is no provision for proof of vaccination or a COVID test, then the current upper limit will remain of 1,000 people indoors and 2,000 people outdoors. This change to the restriction on gatherings will be of great benefit to the sporting, cultural, entertainment and event industries in particular. This means that if we are vaccinated or have recently tested negative, we'll be able to return to watching sports in our stadiums and attending music concerts or events. We'll be able to attend theater performances, conferences and other events. The maximum number of people permitted at a funeral will increase from 100 to 200. As before, night vigils, after funeral gatherings and the so-called after tears gatherings are still not allowed. There are also important changes to the regulation on the wearing of masks. As before, it is mandatory to wear a mask or similar covering over the nose and mouth when in public indoor spaces. However, a mask is not required when one is outdoors. This means that we still need to wear masks when in facilities like shops, malls, offices, factories, taxis, buses, trains, or any other indoor place. But we do not need to wear masks when we are walking on the streets of our country or our pathways or in an open space when exercising outdoors or jogging or when attending an outdoor gathering. The regulations on social distances distancing are also being changed. 
requiring that a space of one meter is maintained between persons in all settings except in schools. There are also changes to the regulations on international travel. Travelers entering South Africa will need to show proof of vaccination or a negative PCR test not older than 72 hours. All unvaccinated travelers entering the country who want to be vaccinated will be offered a vaccination. These measures will take effect from tomorrow, Wednesday, the 23rd of March, 2022, once the new regulations are gazetted. With these changes, almost all restrictions on social and economic activity will have been lifted. Going forward, our most important defenses against the disease are firstly, vaccination and secondly, the observance of basic measures such as wearing masks indoors. The further easing of the remaining restrictions will require that we increase the rate of vaccination among South Africans. The vaccine has been shown to significantly reduce severe illness. Statistics from our health facilities clearly show that people who are not vaccinated stand a higher chance of being hospitalized or even dying from COVID. Nikenda bangoro jolo Montesi TV kaji Samson Olesimbiri aka Newsman ayo agiangala na seriani.